Hello guys, welcome to a new course Cursor, the AI powered code editor. In today's world, if you don't know Cursor, do not apply for jobs because almost in every company, people are being asked to use Cursor a lot. They have even bought a premium subscription for that for each of their employees and they're using Cursor a lot. Another thing is can, you can build a lot of cool portfolio projects very quickly. You can learn a lot of tech stack by building with cursor and you can be a very you can be a master in multiple tech uh, technologies very very quickly this is what we are going to be uh, doing this in this course so let's quickly can see like what we're going to be doing in this course so the first thing is let's quickly talk about the overview we'll talk about like how ai fits seamlessly into how we code daily this course is going to be guiding you from the setup to building some real projects and at the end of the course i'll also give you some productivity tips that i generally apply when i am trying to build a project or a poc using cursor okay why cursor first of all what is cursor right so cursor is basically an ai powered curator you you can think about this is like it's like vs code plus a lot of ai things built right inside the editor so cursor is actually built on top of vs code it's actually a fork of vs code what is a fork basically uh, github uh, sorry vs code is basically open source all the code is available on the internet what cursor people did they took all the code of vs code and they basically applied their own ai uh, ideas on top of vs code so you what you have is basically was vs code plus ai is what we call as cursor Okay, so it is built on top of VS Code and a familiar environment with extra AI powers basically. And it saves time on repetitive work. So basically, you as you know, all the AI powered curators, what it helps us in boil upload, boil plate, right? So boil plate basically means, for example, if I want to build a Django project, so what you can do, you can just say cursor, hey, uh, get me a setup for a Django project very quickly. So it will do in like one or two minutes and you are done. Right, refactoring, You, if you have a large code by base and you have a, a huge code in some file, you can just ask us, hey, refactor this and it will do it for you. Imagine the time it used to do all this setup, right? Creating a Django project, creating a React based project and figuring out like all the right technologies that should go with that. Now Cursor it is actually trained on all this uh, open source stuff and like what technologies others are using and it can do it directly for you. So it's so it's been so easy refactoring just imagine right if it is a big file and you have to refactor the code and you have to write unit test cases this this is something that cursor can do in one minute debugging it will also see like how cursor or editor like cursor can help us in debugging problems in uh, uh, in our project right move faster from idea to working code to deployed project right so basically what i'm expecting is you must have seen vs code and uh, cursor is very similar to vs code it's just that vs code plus a lot of ai powers that's it Okay, now let's move and uh, uh, who this course is gonna be. So basically developers or technical product managers. So basically product managers who will know a bit of technical details. They are comfortable with basic web development or app development are good to go with this course, okay? VS Code users who want to try an AI assisted editor or AI first editor, for them also this could be a very good course. Someone who wants less debugging and more creativity, like you want to build some POC and let's say you, you're trying some startup idea and you want to get some POC up and running very quickly and you want to showcase it to investors and maybe you are a product manager and you want to <coughs> uh, showcase some demo to someone, you can do it very, very quickly with Cursor. Okay. And someone who needs more speed and someone who has more clarity or someone who needs more clarity about a particular technology, you can work with Cursor to develop that project and on the go, you can learn about like how this tech stack is working. Okay, now let's talk about what are we gonna do being, uh, we'll be installing and setting up the Cursor, that's the first thing. We'll write, edit and refactor code using natural language. We're not gonna be coding a lot, but we'll just talk to Cursor in natural language and expect Cursor to get me the code that I'm looking for. He's like your coding partner and we are gonna be working with our coding partner, basically Cursor, to kind of do the work. Debug start, uh, debug smarter with AI's context awareness. So basically a cursor has a lot of context about your project when you open a directory in the cursor. So basically it knows or basically tries to index your code and basically knows a lot about your project and then you can uh, uh, debug very easily with the AI. Okay, auto generated explanations and documentation. We'll be building a complete full stack app with the cursor AI and we'll also do uh, push projects to GitHub 
uh, from directly inside the cursor. So okay, so basically it's a it has a kind of a button uh, which can directly work like a version control system with us for any directory that we open inside the cursor. Okay. Now let's go uh, to the different chat modes that we have. I'm not going to talk about what these chat modes are, but there are different chat modes, agent mode, ask mode and manual mode. So these are the three chat modes we'll focus on the cursor in this course. Okay. How the course structure is going to be? We'll talk about a cursor tool. Inside the cursor tool, we'll talk about installing the tool, navigation and settings. So uh, we'll spend some time understanding like what this code editor looks like and how is it different from VS code and stuff. Okay, we'll also write and improve with AI tools. This is basically the chat. Uh, it has a context aware chat kind of uh, uh, interface where we can just talk with the AI to um, um, iteratively work on a project. Okay, so chat inline inline basically if a editor is if the editor is open and the file is open uh, we can just select some lines or basically uh, uh, use uh, select some lines and ask uh, cursor ai or the chat window to kind of explain me the code and all those things right or maybe generate some test and debugging and we're building multiple uh, we're building one full stack app i'll not talk about what app we are going to be building but it's going this is going to be a complex project and this is going to be a project very different from what the usual projects are and we'll try to build a complete full stack application including uh, everything like auth and then uh, a database and the stack that i usually use that the stack that i generally use while building application with, with cursor i use cursor a lot so i'm going to share all this knowledge with you okay so project version control and best practices as well like uh, what are the best practices around cursor okay then there is going to be an advanced course also of cursor that i'll be posting once this course is completed this course is going to be a course for beginners the advanced course is for people who are really want to deep dive into uh, cursor and do multiple advanced stuffs inside it like uh, deployment ci integration and all those things uh, we'll talk about that in the next course in this course it is only going to be a beginner level course for cursor Okay, so that is it for this video. I'm very excited to start this course. In the next video, we'll uh, do some setup, installation, and some navigation on the cursor course, cursor editor. And we'll move very quickly for this course. So please uh, do like and subscribe and let me know um, uh, what things you, what you have built so far with cursor and what things you would want to learn more. So I will uh, can plan my next videos accordingly. Thank you and I'll see you. Bye.